Hello, Gravy Investors. What this video is going to help you with today is learn how to set up a portfolio tracker. This is an important thing to do and to have once you've started investing real money. So here we go. We're going to use the tool that's on Morningstar.com. So step one is open your browser, navigate to Morningstar.com that you'll see right here. When you get to this page, you want to go here to sign up. And unless you already have an account, you're going to go to sign up here and it's going to invite you to get a basic membership. A basic membership is free and you put in your name and address and create an account password. Uh, you want to check off that you are not a professional, financial professional. And I suggest you do not check off these two boxes or you will get bombarded with emails. But you do have to check off this last box, okay? And hit create account. Now, I already have an account, so I'm gonna jump over here and sign in to my account. And it's gonna bring us up to the same place where you should be right now. So I encourage you to look around the site. There's, you can look up any ETF that you wanna research here. But the thing we're focused on today is this tab here called portfolio. All right. So portfolio, click on that. And I've already started with an account uh, with a portfolio. So I'm going to create a new one. So if you look right here, create new portfolio. I'm just going to call this um, GBI demo. All right, currency in US dollars. Now what you're gonna be asked to do is to enter um, the holdings that we have. Now, you may not have this, so I'm gonna help you find that and you can keep track of it from here. If you know our history, you know that our first investment was ITOTE, right? That is a broad-based fund on the, of the S&P, right? So you know, I told you found it, but we need to know the number of shares when we purchased it and the price per share that we bought it at. So I'm gonna help you find that quickly. We're gonna go over to the Fidelity website and I'm gonna take you to that date right here. So if you look right here, we bought ITO 960 shares at 103.675 on January 19th. So 960 shares at 103.675 on the 19th of January. So you go back to your portfolio. Uh, 103.675, I happen to have it there because I've already entered it before. Um, 960 shares, it knows I've already done that. And <laughs> we are also looking for the date of January 19th, right? So there we go, January 19th. We got that. Now, at that same time, we also had a little bit of cash left over because we had a $100,000 gift that started the club, but we had a little money left over. And that amount of money was 472. So just take my word for that. That's where that number comes from. So what we're going to do is go here to the tab here, get out of that date. All right. And I'm going to go cash. And um, let me go making sure it was still there. And it's called initial cash, right? I said $472. What date? January 19th. Okay. So this is where I'm going to click done here. Okay. This is where our portfolio began. Um, and actually, it's an important thing. You're going to see here portfolio updates. Receive a daily email update of how well your portfolio stocks and funds performed that day. Um, that's a great feature because I'm going to jump over here. I get an email like this every day in my inbox. So it shows uh, these are indexes, right? Major market indexes, the NASDAQ the Dow, S&P 500, and Morningstar, U.S. market. But look here, it's going to show me ITO, the closing price, 
the gain or loss and the percentage change, okay? The reason that's interesting is uh, the percentage change. I'm always looking to see how it compares to these major indexes. When you have your uh, specific ETF, you'll also be able to compare it against major indexes. But enough of that for now. I'm going back to the portfolio manager. I'm clicking done. So what do we have here? We have our initial cash. We have our initial iShares um, that we purchased, right? Now we need to make a note. We need to make a modification. And if you recall, we sold ITO in order to get our cash up for SMH. So what are we going to do here? Before we go here, I'm going to we're going to be um, clicking add. It's confusing, but add, click stock fund. And then where it says transaction here, we're going to click sale. Now we need to know what we sold and at what price. So I'm going to take you again over to Fidelity Investments. I'm going to take you to that transaction. You sold iShares, uh, that's iTote, on this date. So we sold 50 shares at 94.67 on March 14. 50 at 94.67 on March 14. So 94.67, 50 shares on March 14th. And that was iTote we sold. Okay. I'm going to save that. Okay. Now, what do we want to do? We want to figure out, well, we know we sold that and we sold it to buy SMH. That was the semiconductor purchase, right? So what was the semiconductor purchase? We're going to go look at that. We bought SMH 20 shares at 249.1839 on March 14th, right? So watch this, 20, 249, 1839. I'm adding a purchase. 249.839. What do we say? 20 shares. SMH. There it is. And we did that on March 14th. And I'm going to double check that here, guys, because uh, 314 SMH. Okay. All right. I'm going to save that. Okay. Now we have our whole portfolio entered. I'm going to click done. And you can see in our portfolio called GBI demo, we show our initial cash that's still there. We show our iShares with, now it's only showing 910 shares because we sold some for SMH and it's showing our SMH holding, okay? So here is our whole portfolio. So. If you set this up and make all these initial entries, you'll have this at your disposal anytime. 
So here's an interesting thing to look at. If you click on my performance, it will track the history of our investments over this period of time. And I won't go into that too much right now, but what I want you to realize is um, you've got ways within this. So I invite you to set up your own portfolio, explore your the features here, and then um, and they get going from there. So that's about it for now. I hope you can find this helpful and let me know if this video made sense to you.